Anybody that has been in our situation knows that what people get upset about in the civilian world is nothing compared to what we get upset about. Tony's a soldier that's staying at the house that we are blessed with. I'm just honored to have them here tonight and this weekend. This organization, the Wounded Warriors, give these guys the time, which nobody has time for. It's important that we as citizens of this great country fulfill our obligation and give these guys a start, a respite, some downtime, some family time, in a beautiful environment like Breezy Point and the Rockies. I'm a former Marine, and it's my fourth year posting. It's a small community, and it's all civil service. Not a lot of rich people, not a lot of poor people, just average people, just everyone takes care of each other. It's like a small town USA, but in the city. It's very nice. Everybody was always very supportive, especially of the military and everything, but it just came out so much more after 9-11, and everybody just wanted to show how much they appreciated everything. I'm glad that I went on this trip. It's great meeting new people and actually see how much people actually care. These guys are helping us kind of take our minds off of our injuries and get back to doing some fun things. To be able to get out into the civilian world without people looking down on us and discriminating us, people that actually respect what we've done and the sacrifices that we've made, it means a lot to me. I've been called a thing. I've been called horrible names. I went to Target a couple days ago and these teenagers pulled up and said, ha ha, that guy's got no legs, what a loser, ha ha. And you know, that, that just made me mad because a lot of the population just does not understand what we have done, what we've been through, where we have been, just for everybody's freedom. I spent my 21st birthday on a rooftop in Iraq. And then I just spent my 22nd birthday in Texas in my wheelchair. <laughs> I got down on the ground to search the houses and cleared the first one and the second one. I found it and then trying to move around and tell everybody, hey, just stay where you are. Right. I stepped on a second one and wow. that's what got me. I stepped on an IED, uh, apparently a 45 pounder that uh, was big enough to completely destroy an armored vehicle. What size you try? 31s? 31s. I, I wear 30s, but. This yeah. right here makes yeah. a bigger difference. Most of my frustration is because I can't interact with my son. I say if he throws the ball, then he's going to always have to go get it. And that kind of upsets me because that's not how it should be. I'd do it again in a heartbeat. I don't regret anything that I've done because my dream was to become a Marine Corps rifleman. I got to live my dream. Unfortunately, I lost my legs, but that just means I got to find a new dream now. It's not over. It just got started. Would you do it again? Yeah. <laughs> no doubt in my mind, man. Because I love it. And I love this country. Even though I wasn't born here, I love this country. I want everybody to say, what's a viper's nest? <laughs> One, two, three. Oh!